Hi there. Today we're gonna do a small prenatal flow that will help open up our hips. It'll help encourage some strength and mobility in our upper bodies. And we're going to be doing it on hands and knees on the ground. Now I have a lot of props available to me here. You do not have to have all these props at home to be able to do this exercise. I have a bolster, looks like this. I have some various size yoga blocks. I have a yoga blanket. You have things at home that if you feel like you need some props, you can use them. Um, if you don't have blocks, you can use a thick, sturdy library book as long as it's not slippery and you're not gonna slide on it. You can use for a bolster, just a really firm bed pillow. And also for a blanket, it could be a beach towel. It doesn't have to be any kind of fancy yoga blanket, just whatever you have at home. So why don't we get on the mats and give it a try? So on my mat, I set out my yoga blanket to start because uh, especially during pregnancy, knees can be just a really twingy part of our body. We have added weight in the front and they're supporting a lot more weight than they're used to. So I have my blanket out. If you're in an early trimester or you know that your knees don't bother you, you definitely don't need a blanket, but it can always just be a little bit of added comfort. And then I'm gonna walk my hands out and walk my knees back a little. So I have my hands under my shoulders. So it's a line from my wrist, elbow, right down, um, right up to my shoulder. And for my knees, we can play with the placement a little. I can have my knees directly under my hips. And if I'm in an earlier trimester or really uh, familiar with practicing yoga, that might feel great. Depending on my body type and my body shape, and especially how far along I am in my pregnancy, I might want my knees a little wider than hips width just to accommodate the baby and provide some extra comfort. Whenever I do wide-legged cat-cow, I actually really like to bring my toes together and bring my hips or my knees out a little bit further and kind of have almost a triangle of support. So you can try that too. Why don't you play with that? So if you have your legs wide, try putting the toes together, making a triangle. Maybe just keeping the toes back and push firmly into the mat. See what's comfortable in your body. And once you're set up and comfortable, we'll get into our cat-cow. So for cow, I'm going to breathe in. I, my gaze might go towards the ceiling or the sky, or it might just be straight ahead, depending how my neck's feeling today. I'm going to pull my shoulders back, and I'm going to let my belly hang down as I breathe in. And then as I breathe out, my belly will come up a bit, and my shoulders and my upper back round. So let's try that again. For cow, breathe in, let the belly hang down, shoulders come back, gaze can be towards the sky. Breathe out. Belly comes in a bit, shoulders round, and upper back rounds. And one more time. Breathe in for cow, let that belly hang down, stretch through the shoulders, open that chest. And breathe out, shoulders round, back round, and pelvis tilts. Now from this position, I really like to do hip circles. Whether I'm pregnant or not, I always feel like it gives me a lot of comfort and release in my hips, and hips get really tight during pregnancy. So I'm gonna, with my breath, do some large hip circles. And you can make the hip circles as big or as small as you want. And again, we're gonna make sure we're making room for baby. So if you have a larger belly, you're not gonna come down as far. You might not stretch as far back. But we're gonna go in one direction first. So as I breathe in, I'm going back. You can even add that cat-cow element in. And as I breathe out, I can even round my shoulders and round my spine as I come back. I'll go once more in this direction. And then when you're at a good changing point, switch directions. So we'll do a few circles just to even it out in the other direction. And again, don't forget to breathe. If you ever find yourself not breathing, that's key. That, that's the first step in building block in yoga. So always make sure you are moving with your breath in and out. Nice work. One last circle. Great job. Then we'll come back to neutral. If your legs were wide, walk them a little bit closer to knees under hips, still maintaining comfort. And then you have an option to either just end here or end with a child's pose. Child's pose can be a really calming pose. So I'm going to reach out and grab my blocks just to show you a few variations. So for child's pose, I'll put them to the side first. I may just walk my hands out. And again, I could bring my toes together or keep my um, hips just wide, but a wider stance is great when pregnant. 
and I can walk my, um, or press into my hands and bringing my bottom back towards my heels, especially when pregnant and may not touch, but just bring it back towards my heels as much as is comfortable. It might be comfortable to rock here. So rock back and forth, similar to the hip circles. It's just a different motion for the hips, but it can really loosen up some tension. Nice work. And if you do want to hold this posture and you can accommodate the belly um, on the mat, you may want to try blocks. So you could put your forearms onto blocks and push down further. That'll give your belly a bit more room. If you're an early trimester, you can feel free to push back further to what you're used to if you practice yoga in the past. We just want to make sure we're really not squishing the belly or squishing baby and making sure that our bodies are comfortable and the baby's comfortable. And even here, you can rock back and forth if it feels good. And then we'll slowly walk our hands back up. If you have blocks, you can put them to the side. If it's comfortable in the knees, you can sit back on the feet or the heels and stand up that way or just swing the legs to one side and get up. Thank you so much for practicing with me.